I'm on mute. My bad. Alright, please bear with me, no? As baka magka-technical difficulties ako. I'm actually on my phone, right? And something happened to my laptop. So I'm actually trying to do two things at once. Be the back end and also talk, right? Uh, through my phone. Right? So please comment down below if you guys can hear me. If everything is um is okay, right? And today, we're going to be talking about NFTs, right? Super buzzword about something that's that's booming right now and that one of the main topics to in the investor summit but today now we're going to be doing a series of webinars all the way until next monday as we move forward on the road to the investor summit and today as you guys know the summit um boss z and boss z freaks boss george is going to be one of our speakers and you know, since Alam Ko, I kinda, you know, from an outside looking in, I kinda see what ZT is doing. I invited and I, I, I talked to Boss Z if you know if we can have someone from ZFT talk about the base, basics of NFT and you so generous and the whole ZFT community was so generous to provide the resource speaker for us today. Right? So let me fix the back end first before we move forward. Right? So now I know by agenda nana today. I'm going to introduce to you guys our resource speaker for today. I'm going to add him to the stream. And then after that, we're going to take in some questions. And then we're going to do the live raffle para sa mga VIPs natin. So I hope you guys enjoy today's session. So ayaw lang pa. So joining us tonight is James De Jesus from the ZFT community. So boss, I will add you to the stream. Hello, hello. Good evening. John. Boss James, good evening. Yes, hello. Good evening. Ayan. So thank you so much for your time to be to be part of our show tonight. So boss, for the benefit of those who don't know you or maybe for the benefit of those who are not part of the ZFT community yet, could you give us a very quick uh, introduction about yourself? Ah, uh, yeah, sige, sige. So again, no, thank you, Toma, for inviting us to, to present tonight. And I hope everyone's doing a good, great day today. So, um, I'm from ZFT. I'm a trading leader leader there. I'm also one of the Mavericks. So, we have funded traders there and I'm one of them. And also, I'm heading currently the new research team of ZFT, which is the ZFT Vanguards. So, it's the research arm of the community where we research about NFTs. So, yun. Yun. All right. So, boss, before I let you share your screen, I just like to remind um, our audience, right, to to also share the stream, right. So, to anyone who shares the stream and nasa caption na yung instructions para makasalit, just share the stream, tag three friends, and use the hashtag Investor Summit 2021. At the end, pag nagpaparaffle na tayo, we'll be giving two winners, right, ng 500 so, so yun, Boss James, ayoko na patagalin pa. I know a lot of people, even myself, I'm getting, I'm just starting out in the NFT space, starting to learn. I'm looking forward to your presentation. So without further ado, I'm going to give you the floor so you may share your screen. All right. All right. Yo. I think my screen is sharing already. Yon, kita na. All right. So, yon. So, let me just, I don't know, start with thanking again, Sir Toma, for this invite. And also, uh, as what he said earlier about the buzz when it comes to NFTs, and it's really what's been the talk behind, the, especially in the crypto space. If you've been following, uh, the crypto market, the crypto space, then you would have already heard about NFTs. And it's really something to look into. And it's re relatively new. And um, I'm here to somewhat give you an idea what NFTs are. So this is NFT 101 for beginners. So of course, now let's first define what is NFT. So NFT is basically non-fungible tokens. So it's, it's a unique digital identifier that cannot be copied substituted or subdivided that is recorded in the blockchain and that is used to certify authenticity and ownership so 
there are a lot of big words behind this uh this definition no so let me just share to you what is a blockchain first so very important uh, the blockchain is where everything uh, revolves it, it it's the underlying technology behind cryptocurrencies and it's also the technology behind nfts and what it's what we use to uh, store our uh, digital assets so it's a peer-to-peer -peer and distributed ledger technology which means that it's nearly impossible to falsify or tamper with data within the block so basically what a blockchain has is um everyone is able to see the ledger or the the list of transactions happening within the block and it it's what we now have as a blockchain so whenever a transaction is made no matter what happens in the future um, we cannot change that transaction. That makes the asset uh, authenticated no matter whether it was bought uh, by someone or another person. It cannot be copied or, or altered because if, what, if the blockchain is altered, then uh, the chain would be broken. So that's what the technology does, which is very so sophisticated, I know, and it's, it's very um, heavy to... Um, understand at the moment, but it's the technology behind NFTs. So, of course, NFTs, if you've been around it, um, it's actually a digital asset. So, what is a digital asset? So, basically, it's anything that exists in a digital form. So, this can be in the form of PDFs, such as documents, um, music, uh, audio, or visual content, images, um, GIFs, no? and other digital data are all considered digital assets, all right? So of course, no NFT uh, from uh, the the, uh, the non-fungible token, right? So what is first? We have to understand what is fungibility. So it's it's a word that is not really thrown a lot, uh, no, in common in common days. Um, fungibility um, is basically the ability of a good or asset to be interchanged with other goods or assets at the same time. So basically fungible assets uh, simplify the exchange and trade processes as fungibility implies equal value implies equal value between the assets. So medyo ano pa rin, no? Mabigat. So let me just illustrate uh, what fungibility is by this example, no? Very basic, we have here the dollar. So we can all agree that $1 is one dollar equivalent one dollar is equivalent to the value of one dollar and having five one dollars is basically just one five dollar bill so that's the meaning of the dollar billing being a fungible asset right so when it comes to non-fungible assets it's just the opposite uh, it doesn't mean that one asset uh, you multiply it by five you get the same value for five assets so we have here an example of the mona lisa so the mona lisa is a painting and through authentication of the experts there is only one painting made by da vinci and it has its current own value now if you replicate that painting with your own canvas let's say you're a good artist and you were able to replicate it a hundred percent but it has not been authenticated by an expert or, or an arts expert to say that this is the original painting of the artist, then the value of that replicated asset is not the same value as that of the original asset that was the Mona Lisa painting, all right? So that's just basically what non-fungible means. So we've been discussing so far, what is the blockchain? What is digital asset? what is fungibility right so when you combine all of these the technology behind nfts what an nft could be in the form of pdf or an art or gif or a jpeg so those are the different types of digital assets and now we see where the value is coming from based on the non-fungibility aspect of an nft so what that um to illustrate further, well, we have here subdivided um, assets to be fungible or non-fungible and assets to be digital 
or a physical asset. So with the recent uh, boom in technology, we already have assets that are in its digital form. So when we say fungible physical assets, these are of course the dollars or any asset that when you multiply by a, a multiplier, the value would be a proportion of the base asset, right? So that's the fungible physical assets. Then we have also the non-fungible physical assets. So these are um, paintings or sculptures. So these are non-fungible and the value is based on how much the buyer is willing to pay. Then fungible digital assets. We currently have um, cryptocurrencies. These are fungible assets. They have a specific value based on the price on the chart and they are um, you, you can change this based on how, how much you feel you want the price of Bitcoin to be or Ethereum to be. It is uh, universally um, identified uh, whatever the price could be would be. It is a consensus that everyone agrees on that price. So that's fungible digital assets. Now what we move on to what is non-fungible digital assets. So this is where uh, value differs based on what the per perception of a person is on a specific asset. No? So these non-fungible digital assets are now what we call as NFTs, right? So that's just the, this is just a simple is illustration to show you what, uh, what really separates non-fungible assets or non-fungible tokens. So the question there comes from uh, the, the, the question now arises, no, uh, how much are really these NFTs? So we've been discussing a lot about the definition of NFTs. And at this point, you'd have somewhat of an idea that NFTs has its value um, locked into how much uh, the person perceives its value to be. So it normally starts, um, we, we have NFTs that are that have already been created by artists or um, developers or creators or artists that have a set starting price. So you, you have those. But eventually, if people see it that the NFT is worth something more, let's say the NFT um, um, connects to them uh, um, in, on a personal level, then they'll, they'll value that more. Just like the Mona Lisa painting that is really um, a, one of its kind and is unique, then people um, have valued it at such a huge price. So in terms of the NFT world, we've been here for quite some time now since um, um, the inception of uh, cryptocurrencies, we, we, we had this um, development of NFTs. No. So, so far, let me share to you some examples of how much NF NFTs could be worth and how much they have been sold for. So here we have, so I'll just share with you some, some examples of how crazy or how big this, uh, this world in NFTs is. No? So the first tweet by Jack Dorsey back in 2006 when Twitter was created was made into an NFT by its founder, no? Jack Dorsey. Um, so he just said there, just setting up my Twitter. It was on March 22, 2006, and he made it into an NFT. And then he, he sold it to the market. So on March 22, 2021, someone bought it for $2.9 million. Such a huge amount of money for a digital asset that is something that it's just this digital. But people valued it at $2.9 million. This is because of the non-fungible non -fungible aspect of NFTs. Anyone can just put place their price, and if someone wants to buy it at any price they want, they can buy it for any price they want. So that's NFT. So I also have here uh, other examples. So we have here CryptoPunks. If you've been into the crypto space, you, you would have heard about CryptoPunks and its release in June 2017, and it's been skyrocketing in terms of price since then. So it is actually one of the first NFT on the Ethereum blockchain, which could 
um, give it some sentiment. That being, it's the first NFT in the in the blockchain of Ethereum. So maybe people were giving it some sentiment that it's the first, just like um, any unique asset we have in the physical world, such as painting or sculptures. If it's the only one, and if it's the first, then uh, people would value value it more, right? So these were also sold. These are just JPEGs of pixelated pictures. So we have Punk number 3100. It was sold on March 11, 2021, together with Punk number uh, 7804. They were both sold for 4,200 Ethereum, which at that time, uh, where the price of Ethereum was just um, $1,800, it was priced at $7.58 million for these JPEG of pixelated pictures. And another one was sold on June 10, 2021, at an auction for $11.75 million. So just imagine, those, it's just a pixelated picture. And every and because of the sentiment of the people, because of how they uh, value the, the uniqueness of this asset, and it's uh, being the first of its kind in the Ethereum network, uh, they valued it at millions of dollars. Then this one was the the biggest leap for NFTs. No, it, it really uh, paved the way for NFTs to be somewhat known for a lot of people because it 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 reached mainstream social media and news were covering this uh, sale of the first uh, five thousand days. It was a digital artwork by Mike Winkleman or people as we call as we know him in the online space. No, where he drew an artwork every day from May 1, 2007 to January 7, 2021. So that's around um, 14 years, 14 years in the making for this NFT. And then it was minted last February 21, 2021. So these are the 5,000 pictures that he made from May 1 to 2007. So he's been drawing a, lot, a picture per day so he compiled it into one NFT and then sold it in the market. And it was sold on March 11, 2021 for a whopping 69346250 dollars Just imagine how much money would, would is that for a single JPEG for an NFT that has been authenticated in the blockchain to be unique, to be sold as a digital asset. It's it's really a headliner for for the NFT. So I think the the search for NFTs and the research for NFTs has skyrocketed skyrocketed since then. All right. So we have here some notable um, no, notable JPEGs or uh, JPEGs that have been sold in the market. You no, know, with um, with cryptocurrencies, we have here the, the disaster girl. Um, we think I think we a lot of us know this meme. So the owner of this, the 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 owner of this JPEG uh, created or minted it as an NFT and sold it for four hundred seventy three thousand dollars. And then we have, of course, we know uh, Nyan Cat. You know the meme, uh, Nyan Cat. Um, the owner of this minted its NFTs, NFT and then sold it in the market for $631,000. And recently, um, in the past few months, um, NBA has already started um, minting its own NFTs in the form of video format of the best or highlighted place of the NBA. You know? So they, they created, uh, they made clips of the highlights and then turn them into NFT in, in video format and are now selling in the marketplace. And the highest sale at, at the moment was LeBron James Dunk. Um, it sold for $210,000 for a single video clip of LeBron James dunking. That's crazy for how much money uh, people are willing to spend for the, the sentiment behind the digital asset. Uh, for a unique asset so you know so very exciting with what nft is and on what 
NFT has already become no for the past few years. So how do the, these things work? So traditional works of art such as paintings are valuable because they are one of a kind. They are unique. But as digital files, uh, digital files such as pictures, PDFs, or uh, audio and MP4 formats can be easily and endlessly duplicated. So what can NFTs do with this? No? So artwork can be tokenized to create digital certificate of ownership that can be bought and sold. So this is where the sentiment comes in because you are authenticated to be an owner of that NFT that is going to be only one in the world. It's going to be unique. It's going to be authenticated. And everyone, since this is in the blockchain, right? We've discussed that blockchain uh, allows us to see all the transactions that's happening all over the, the crypto space in the ledger. No? So everyone can see that and it can be easily uh, authenticated that that NFT is really coming from the creator of that digital artwork or digital asset. So with that, um, NFTs hold that somewhat of a sentiment of uh, authenticity and ownership of an asset. So just a what? A graphic no, to show you what happens. So if you're a content creator, you have the music. We, have, we had there earlier the sports uh, clips from NBA. And then we have the gaming platforms. If you've been into the crypto space as well, uh, you might have heard about Axie Infinity. So that is a form of NFT. And then we have artwork um, like the memes or the GIFs. These are forms of artwork. And then the creators of those, of the gaming sector, of the sports, music, or artwork uh, industry, uh, they create their own NFTs by authenticating them to be unique and to never be minted again in the blockchain. No? So that gives somewhat of an authenticated digital certificate that there is going to be only one of that. Right? So, so that certificate now goes into the blockchain and will forever be uh, in part of the ledger in the blockchain All right so what are the common types of nfts of course we have art again we have here trading cards so this is another clip of steph curry assist uh in his play note so it led to a shot so that those are trading cards we also have trading cards in baseball we also have already trading cards for uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. There are already um, NFTs for that. We have Funko Pop. Uh, there are already a lot of companies going into NFTs that are now minting their own unique uh, form of NFT. And there are also, of course, the most common one, and a lot of people are really into, especially Axie Infinity, you have the NFT games. No? So Axie Infinity, is, as, as I've said, is one of those NFT games that has really skyrocketed over the past few months and a lot of people are playing it already and are having fun. And aside from having fun and are earning now uh, from the um, rewards of the, of the game. No? So that's, that's NFT for... That's really NFT. And I think there's much more to come when it comes to NFTs. But of course, uh, when it comes to everything that involves money, and of course, uh, this is something new, we have to consider what are the pros and cons of investing into an NFT or venturing into the world of NFTs. So if you're a content creator, an artist, so it gives artists ownership over digital assets. So if let's say you want to draw, so there's this uh, one NFT by Gary Vaynerchuk. No? Uh, he has his own VFriends NFTs and he's selling, if you look into his NFTs there, it's really mind boggling how much these drawings of, uh, I don't know if so, who draw it, drew it, there are a lot of scribbles that were being sold for thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars. 
for a drawing of uh, somewhat a scribble type of drawing. No? So it gives that artist ownership of that digital asset. And of course, as we've been talking about, it's a unique, it's collectible. Um, if you're into collecting a lot of novel, uh, novelty um, items, no? so you can you can venture into NFTs, and then they are of course immutable. They cannot be altered, erased, or replaced. So that's the pros of having NFTs. But uh, there are of course there are a lot of cons, you no. Know? especially since we are still in the early stage of NFTs and in and the cryptocurrencies uh, in the market and there are still a lot of, um, let's say, barriers before mass adoption of uh, this technology because a lot of people are still skeptical on what uh, the digital currencies could be for the future. So it's a speculative market. It's really speculative. It's high risk. There's no way around that fact at the moment um, we are still dealing with something that has a lot of uncertainties especially when it comes to regulations and whatnot no so although since these are also available online and have been published by the creators online these digital assets can be copied so the only difference would now be when you uh, publish your nfts online they can be saved as JPEG or whatever form or type of digital file. So they can be saved by someone else. But of course, what, what separates really uh, to have an NFT is its authenticity that it's verifiable in the uh, blockchain. And then of course, what's really uh, the re a big concern right now no, is it secure. So um, NFTs, uh, being online, no, its um, essence is really online, and a lot of things online can be hacked, or um, uh, there is really a cybersecurity uh, problem when it comes um, that we need to address when it comes to dealing with these assets. No, because if you're just gonna share images or JPEGs that have no value, then it's fine, or uh, let's say Word files or Excel files, they, these can be. Um, hacked by someone, but when it comes to NFTs, these are digital assets that have value. So if they have value, hackers would be um, really enticed to try and acquire your assets. So that that's why it's really important um, to do your research when it comes to uh, securing your assets, especially on how and what not to do when it comes to dealing with these things. Um, the technology behind it, blockchain technology, is of course secure. It's uh, trackable. It's um, it cannot be altered. No one can change what has already transpired in the blockchain. Um, it can be authenticated by anyone. But once the asset has been transferred to another person, then that is um, another thing. No, that's already outside the control of the technology or of the blockchain. So we, we really need to make sure that we keep our assets secure as much as possible. We want to place them into hard wallets just to make sure that everything, every transaction that we make are in our hands. It's physical and you control all the ins and outs of your uh, assets. So these are the pros and cons. Uh, so a lot of uh, discussion already when it comes to the pros of and cons of NFTs. But what I'm really just trying to say here is that NFTs is a new space. It's an exciting space. It has a lot of potential. But at the same time, when it comes to the potential, there is uh, somewhat of a hand in hand. There is a risk involved when it comes to, of course, any asset that we try to invest in. So, yeah, so that's that's nfts for you i hope you have been enlightened on what nfts is and what blockchain and how the ins and outs of what nfts have been and what it could be and it what the risks involved are uh, when it comes to investing in nfts so yon that ends my presentation yon 
Solid. So guys, to everyone watching the stream, comment naman tayo. Thank you, Boss James. So, <laughs> Boss James, thank you so much for sharing your knowledge of NFTs. Boss, before you, ano, before you, before I take out the slides, ba pwede mo i-share uh, sa lahat ng viewers natin, ano ba yung, ano, ano ba yung The Trading Republic? Ah, yeah, oh. So, The Trading Republic, so I'm very excited, no? Kasi The Trading Republic has been here for over a year now, and it's really, um, the, the, the community is just growing and growing over time, no? So, The Trading Community is basically a trading, uh, trading the Trading Republic is basically a trading community that caters to um, new traders that are venturing into the world of trading, and of course, um, with the rise of NFTs and the cryptocurrencies, we're also catering to um, doing research for uh, NFTs. So if you're really interested into trading, in conquering the markets, and learning uh, the ZFT system when it comes to trading and re the the very uh, famous system of Boss Z, uh, the ZFT system. So if you're into that, Trading NFTs, cryptocurrencies, uh, trading in the stock market, equities, no. So the Trading Republic is for you. So that's what the the community can provide for you. Yun. So let's. So guys, if you have any more questions regarding that, I'm sure you can message on ZFT Facebook page. They'd be more than happy to assist you guys if you have any questions. So maybe now, boss James, we can, you know, we can, we can do a bit of Q and A. Right. So right. to everyone in the audience, feel free to start um, sending in your questions. Right? Uh, I'm sure Boss James would, you know, would love to answer those. But before that, maybe pwede ako mag-start. Pwede ako mag-start. Um, I'm also someone who, who's, you know, kasimula ako lang din. Kasimula ako lang sa NFT space. I've actually just started studying it siguro two weeks ago. And baka medyo late na ako. I'm sure a lot of people were in it. Uh, much earlier. Alright, so my question is do you think in your opinion that and and in in the NFT space are we in a bubble? Because grabby mga presyo eh. For example, V Friends, I saw the thousands and thousands of dollars. Yeah, pray, ordinary person might not be able to afford that. Do you think we're in a bubble? Or do you think bigger picture there's so much more runway to go when it comes to the technology? Uh so when it comes to the NFTs, no, just like in any markets, this is still um, somewhat of a market psychology. So when it comes to the pricing, it's a bit high right now with the hype and everything. But in the bigger picture with the technology of blockchain and uh, cryptocurrencies, I think we are still at the beginning of the leg of NFTs and its adoption. So. When it comes to investing at the moment, we, we try to limit our risks as much as possible. If you are still venturing or just new into the space, I would suggest that you first do your research. There are a lot of NFTs coming out in the, in the next few months, and these are still new. And as much as possible, we want to limit the risk of buying into the hype, right? So that's really... the. Uh, what we've been taught in the trading republic is what you really want to first consider whenever you uh, venture into any digital or any asset is to measure your risk so when it comes to if it's too late or if it's too late too early it really depends on where you are at in terms of what you know about the space because if you're just gonna go into it with the mentality of that it's already high and you're you want to jump or you want to jump into the height of nfts then i would suggest that you tone down the emotions for now but yon but in terms of in the future i'm looking at it, it as an early space really for nfts and we really just uh, barely scratch the surface of what nfts could be thanks boss so guys before we before i get some questions from the audience but I just like to remind you guys, if you guys want to win 500 pesos at the end of the stream, don't forget to share it, tag three friends, and use the hashtag Investa Summit 2021. And then we're going to be giving away 
some major prizes later. Right? Ito naman for our VIPs ng Invest Summit. So I have a small poster here. Mukha namin James. Right? And... Robas ba? Yeah, I think Robas. Yeah. So we're gonna be giving away. It's all... It's gonna be for our uh, VIPs sa Invest Summit. No? For the next seven days, marami kami pamimigay para sa inyo. So we're gonna be giving away... Um, access to the Investor Prime Plus. We're going to be giving away 500 pesos pang grab food. And then one access to uh, lifetime access to Investor Summit 2018. So you're recording access to them. And of course, um, again, ZFT has been really um, generous, right, with providing value to the community, whether it's um, being with us here in the learning session and right, being with us in the Investor Summit, but this is Papa Miguel, which is going to which is the ZFT Blueprint. So if you're not, let me just give a quick plug for that. If you guys aren't aware of it, so it's ZFT's course for if you want to learn right, the technical side right, of trading, or if you're just starting out, or if basic, or you're lost, or you think na, okay, how can I combine my work, my lifestyle right now with trading, diba? So para ang hirap balance. So the blueprint course was made with that in mind. It was made for the busy person. It was made for someone who needs to find that balance. Diba? And sobrang dami inclusions yan besides, ano yan? Online course, right? So you can learn at your own pace, at your own time, walang madalian. And there's also a lot of other bonuses, like uh, monthly Q&A sessions and walkthrough sessions. And you're also going to be part of a Discord community. So we're going to be giving away a total of 10 of that over the next five days. Per today, dalawa muna. And then Sunday, the major raffle draw natin, yun, medyo malaki ang ipamimigay natin, care of uh, ZFT. So with that, let's move on with the next question. So I'll take that out. So next question, from John. How to mint NFT art? How to mint NFT art? So um, NFT, there are a lot of um, obligations or let's say... Um, platforms where you can mint your own NFT, it's uh, relatively fast, no? If you have, you really have, you just need to do it once and uh, the system or the process is uh, straightforward after that. So um, how do you mint NFTs? So basically you just create the digital art, uh, you create it into a digital asset form, and then you, you look for a platform that you like, you publish your NFT, uh, you pay the fees, and then once the the platform approves your NFT to be minted in their platform, then your NFTs would be print um, available for buying or selling in the in that marketplace. Thank you for the question, Boss John. The next question from Joel. Um, sir, if you rate it on a scale of one to ten, how hard is it to create an NFT? Uh, so there so if um, you do it for the first time it's gonna be it, it takes a lot of process and um, you need to have it approved by the platform so it that, so the, so the first part would be hard but once you um, are able to do it already then it would become easier so in, in terms of rating from the start so it's gonna be let's say four or five and then when you're already doing it consistently it would be as easy as 10. Okay. Ito from Mark. What NFT projects did you participate in? <laughs> Parang mahirap at ang sagatin, no? Yung NFTs. Kasi there are a lot of NFT projects. And if you're going to ask me, I've invested into a lot of them. And I, I, I can't really count them, them in my hand. No? So, ang dami na kasing lumalabas na bago. And... Um, Axie Infinity, there was a question here, no, sabay ko na lang, were you able to get in early sa Axie Infinity? Uh, the answer, short answer is no. <laughs> Medyo relatively new this year lang din ako nag-start into NFTs, but I am also uh, in Axie Infinity. I am uh, providing scholarships. So, and then aside from that, there are a lot of games that we are working on in the community uh, that we are researching on. So again, no, I am also the head of GFT Vanguards, and there are a lot of NFTs talaga in the space. And if you want to know more what we are invested in, if you, you, then join us in the trading community and we're, we're happy to share with you all the, the resources that we have for NFTs. 
Alright? Ito, from John. So, meron daw siyang digital art. Digital art. Wants to sell it as an NFT. So, saan siya pwede pumunta? Di ba? Where, where, where can he mint it? What platform can he use? Or where does he have to go? Very nice. Um, there are a lot of um, NFT platforms. Um, one of the notable ones would be OpenSea. Um, there's also Juggernaut. There is uh, Binance has its own NFT market uh, NFT marketplace. Um, it's relatively new, so it's just a matter of researching on what platform you really want to sell it, and um, uh, what how you want it to look to the market. Because uh, different platforms cater to different uh, NFT types. I got next question from D. So, who is the regulatory body that does the minting or the authentication of mga NFTs? So, basically, um, the NFT platforms has their own um, their own minting. Uh, they do their own minting. So, in that platform, uh, they well, once the NFT is uh, minted, then it's going to be authenticated in the blockchain. So that's the underlying technology behind it. So when it's authenticated in the blockchain, then it's already considered as one of a kind. As long as you created it, then that's gonna authenticate your NFT. Right. Ito, from John Carlo. How do you determine if an NFT project has good uh, fundamentals? So what are you looking at? If you want to start, uh, if you want to get into a specific NFT. Um, so this is one of the things that we consider, no? aside from the tokenomics of the NFT project or the, um, let's say, the, the technical side of the numbers of an NFT game, we, we also look into the fundamentals of the project. If it's uh, one of the main thing that I look into is really um, um, the quality of the NFT. Um, because if the quality of the NFT is really good, then um, that could be a check mark for me. And then another thing is the, the depends on what your objective is. If you're speculating, then um, there are a lot of let's say uh, sentiment analysis. And then there's also uh, the roadmap and the team behind. So what's very important in in, in considering NFT projects is the team behind. Uh, the NFT project that you're going into, if the if it's someone that you don't know or has no experience in the NFT space, then it would be hard to really trust the the development of that uh, NFT. Um, and when it comes to art, of course, you no. Know, um, when someone influential, just like um, um, Gary Vaynerchuk, uh, created his own NFT. Then if you've been following him and he's been bullish, very bullish in NFTs and he's been creating a lot of digital art, then buying those kind of uh, sentiment uh, with all his fans, then you can see that the, the NFTs have good potential. Okay. Right. Do you need to pay the system or someone to validate your work? Um, um, when it comes to minting NFTs, there would always be fees. Um, in terms of validation, um, they, they, they have this set of parameters. I don't know how they do their validation of the artwork, but um, yeah, I, I'm not sure with the validation part. Ito. From Hannibal, thoughts on Cardano's smart contracts recently? Cardano smart contracts. Um, yeah, um, there are a lot of networks that have been releasing their smart contracts, you not know, just like Cardano. And uh, it really depends. It's a speculative market. We don't know how it would affect the market if it's gonna stay on that track. And they're releasing a lot of projects, and they're going into the path of NFTs as well. Um, so in terms of what's up with uh, Cardano smart contracts? Um, not really sure. Um, yeah. So yeah. So I think we can drill everything down to last two questions. My second question, dito maganda. But there's one question for me. 
Boss James, if you're open to share, are there any NFT projects that you are particularly interested in now? Ciao, bakit? <laughs> um, um, if you go into our, um, there's this one project that we're really invested in. It's, um, it's colonized Mars. So it's in the Wax blo blockchain. It's a different blockchain, but um, we're really in looking into this project. No, parang um, it has good uh, fundamentals so far, and there are a lot. There's still a lot of missing pieces when it comes to the gameplay, um, but uh, it, it's uh, it's something that to look into. No, um, um, I really like the game. I just, I just don't want to give a lot of um, hype into the community, no. But this is a project that we're invested. I'm invested in personally, so yeah, I'm yeah, I'm good with that. Yeah. So guys, don't forget um, to always do your own research, sempre pa sa isang NFT. So for our last question, to from Mr. Jigs, to mag a nice way to end the Q and A session. Where do you think NFT will be in the next, or you can choose a time frame, five, between five to ten years. Where do you think NFT will be? Um, when it comes to NFTs, after five years, I think there would be somewhat of an expansion of its utility. Because the blockchain technology is really the underlying technology behind here. Even if it's a speculative market, you have a lot of coins going around, a lot of projects going around. Um, what it's really gonna stay here is the blockchain the, the technology itself no so when it comes to nfts as i've said it's a digital asset so people can create their own nfts whether in all in this in other industries and we are already seeing a lot of companies going into creating their own nfts and the games if they start creating their own nfts for the game because these are digital assets so aside from art music you can also create tokenize your weapons in games let's say there's this game um, big time there they create there it's a group of uh, big developers such uh, the developers of fortnite coming together um, with epic games they're they're joining forces to create this game and they're what they're gonna do is they're gonna create uh, characters that would have their own weapons and then armor, uh, kits or whatever, they're gonna be NFTs. So this is gamifying uh, the NFT space. You know? and, and, and I think that's what really is gonna push NFT to for mass adoption. So this is uh, setting all the value aside, the value aspect aside, the speculative side. I'm just digging deep, deep into the fundamentals of NFT and the blockchain technology itself. So I, I think there's going to be an adoption of NFTs in the next five or even 10 years from now. Yun. So, Boss James, before I let you go, uh, do you have any last words or message by us uh, community natin and for the people watching today? <laughs> so last message, siguro, um, I'm very thankful for tonight, no? for the invite. Really, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a great day. For everyone and i get to share the knowledge and uh, the community that i'm involved in so it's a good opportunity and as a message for everyone um siguro be stay safe aside from the covid uh, situation we have right now um stay safe in the crypto space it's really it's really it's, it's a really exciting uh, market but at the same time it's a really speculative and risky market so always stay safe and keep your assets in check make sure to keep your uh what's the seed seed phrases <laughs> so it's really a, a risky space so just stay safe with that with uh with everything that's happening in the crypto space Yun. and with that boss james again everyone comment ng thank you boss james so boss marami marami salamat. thank you for joining us tonight on our road to the Investor Summit 2021, on behalf of the team, really appreciate your time, your generosity to share your knowledge to the whole community. I'm sure marami na tuto, and I'm sure a lot of people are excited sa, sa NFT. So, boss, maraming salamat today. 
Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you again. Yon, okay. So, boss, sorry, I will, I will evict, I will evict you from from the stream. <laughs> we're gonna, I don't know, we're we're gonna do the raffle. I, I don't want to take too much of your time. So, okay, uh, so, salamat to boss James. So, yon. Guys, wait lang, ah. it's hard to be the back end and the, the speaker at the same time. So, again guys, hopefully marami kayo natutunan from Boss James. Ito, ang ganda, may, fi- may comments si Boss Z. Ay, wait, not that one. There, there was a, there was a nice, he, he made this nice comment. NFTs are the future, especially NFTs that have use cases. Okay, sure, there are booms and busts, di ba? Eh, but if you're not looking out, to NFTs, um, you're missing out a lot, and we're still relatively early, right? And speaking of Boss Z, he's actually going to be one of our speakers for the invest for the Investor Summit 2021, right? So, I we already recorded his presentation, and you know he also tackled a bit on nft so hopefully we can see you there really excited really excited for you guys to learn the presentation yeah and you know if we're going to talk about cryptocurrency and nfts we also have um two other speakers who are really um knowledgeable in the space of course luis buenaventura the second he's going to be talking about play to earn games if you guys are in the space for sure this it's impossible that you don't know sir luis right and of course we're also going to be ha- having Colin from Binance, the Southeast Asia Director of Binance. Ito naman yung style lang talk niya, interview. Same with what I did with Tom Basso. Um, I interviewed him actually just two days ago. And our interviews were about an hour, an hour, 15 minutes. And my part dun na focus on crypto, the macro side of crypto. Then my part dun sa macro and micro side of NFT. So really insightful discussion, right? And if you guys want to join, head over to Wait now, back end work. Investagrams.com slash Investor Summit. All right. So now that I have done that, I'm sure marami nagaantay. Let's head over to the raffle. So again, just to highlight yung instructions natin, para sa mga live viewers natin dyan, don't forget to share the stream. Oh, papahabol ko sa inyo para sa mga last minute. Share the stream, tag three friends. Use the hashtag Investor Summit 2021 for a chance to win 500 pesos at the end. Right? But now we're going to be doing a raffle for all of our VIP pass holders ng Investor Summit. So I'll bring out yung, ano namin ni Luis ulit, yung, ay ni Luis, ni, ni Boss James, yung poster namin. We're going to be giving away right, one lifetime access to the recording of the Investor Summit 2018. Two winners of one month access to the Investor Prime Plus. Tatlong mananalo ng 500 pesos pang grab food. And of course, two free access to um, one of ZFT's course. If you want to learn, you want to start in the markets, Blueprint. All right, so thank you again to ZFT for providing this for our VIPs. And then later, two winners ng 500 pesos from our live viewers. So game. Okay, back and work ulit. Ang galing ko lang yun. Back natin sa comments. Alright, game. So guys, bago tayo magsimula, comment naman kayo ng hashtag Investa Summit lang malupit. So to be honest, di ko alam bakit hindi na lang yun yung official hashtag. Pero yun yung hashtag na gusto ko gamitin. So comment naman kayo ng hashtag Investa Summit lang malupit. And let's start. Sorry, walang music ha. So hype ko na lang gamit boses ko. Ano eh, I'm on my phone eh. Right? Iba yung view. Um, something happened to my laptop eh. Naglalaga ako kanina nung... Um, nag set up kami ni James. I, I was lagging really bad on my laptop. So I'm on my phone, back in sa laptop. So, yup, yup, yup. So, sa mga VIPs natin dyan, this raffle is for you. And again, this is going to be every day until next month, until next Monday. And if I can highlight the schedule, again, free webinars every day. And kasama ng webinars for the community is the, is the exclusive raffles for our VIPs. Diba? So today we discuss NFTs 101s, NFT 101 for beginners. Tomorrow we're gonna be discussing venturing into cryptocurrency with Joseph from ano, from Open Journal. On Friday we're gonna talk about trend following principles to maximize returns with Barrio. 
on Saturday. We're going to talk about from PSE to global markets. Ano muto ako yung speaker? And then, ano muto ako sino? And then, September 26 will be the kickoff show. Right? So the whole investor team will be there and so on and so forth. Basta hanggang next Monday ito. And then Tuesday, yun na yung start ng summit. So yun, welcome to the road to the summit. And game, huwag natin patagalin pa. Let's try to the raffle. So ang una natin ipapamigay is two winners na one month access to the Investor Prime Plus. So I'm a... Add this. Alright. So game. Huwag na natin patagalin pa. Let's call on our first winner. So pasensya na pala ng music. So tantra na. Ang first winner natin ang one month access to the Investor Prime Plus. Congratulations to Seal Seal Seal. Boss Seal. Congratulations. Pinawa ka ng one month access to the Investor Prime Plus dahil VIP ka sa Investor Summit 2021. Alright. So, let's call on our second winner. So, for our second winner, now one month access to Investor Prime Plus, congratulations to Sky underscore 18. So, Sky, congratulations. Panalo ka ng one month access to Investor Prime Plus. Alright, ang next na ipamimigay natin is three winners ng 500 pesos pang grab food ninyo. So kung gusto yun ng merienda bukas mga chong, sagot ka na namin dahil VIP ka sa Investor Summit. So game. Let's call on our first winner. So our first winner ng 500 pesos pang grab food. Congratulations sa iyo. Ang tagal nung wheel. Ayaw pa lumabas. Cook Simos. Boss, Cook Simos. Congrats pa ako ng 500 pesos. Dahil VIP ka sa Investor Summit. So game, next winner. At masakit na aking lalamunan ulit. So, ayun lang music for our next winner. Congratulations to MNDU. So, MNDU, congratulations. Paano ka ng 500 pesos. Care of the Investor Summit. Pang merienda mo bukas. Pag nireplyan yung message namin para maklaim mo na. So, next winner. Game. For our next winner. Congratulations to Ginro, Ginro, panalo ka ng 500 pesos. Right, ito, mga questions tayo. Paano sumama? Paano sumama sa raffle? Mga boss, to join the raffle, you have to be part of our VIP sa Investor Summit 2021. It's our upcoming event. So if you guys want to check it out, just head over to investorgrams.com slash Investor Summit. As I've mentioned, we're going to be doing giveaways every day for the next seven days. Diba? So... Hopefully, uh, makasama kayo dito. Basta VIP ka. You don't wanna miss out. Especially on Sunday, right? So, next nating ipamimigay. Let's see. The next thing we're gonna give away is um, one winner for the lifetime access recording to the Trader Summit 2018. So, this is worth around, I think, 3,500, right? Or 4,000. So, game. So, pang warm up din yun sa Summit 2021. So, let's call on our winner of one lifetime access to the Investor Trader Summit 2018. So, congratulations to Patrick3468. So, Boss Patrick, congrats at panalo ka ng lifetime access to the recording of Investor Summit 2018. Alright. Ang last two na ipamimigay natin tonight of course, is yung blueprint from Care of ZFT, right? The, yan, blueprint. Hindi pala kita per circle. Yeah, blueprint. So, two winners then. So, game. Let's call on our first winner. So, congratulations to you, Boss Rocky Ron. At panalo ka ng one access sa uh, ZFT Blueprint. So if panalo ka dito, please kindly message the ZFT page. But we're also going to message you, of course, of how you can claim it. 
So next, uh, our ano, our final winner for tonight. But again, we're really early. This is just day two out of the last seven days. Our final winner from our VIP roster, ZW8719 underscore. Congrats at panalo ka. Pwede na ako mag-live selling. <laughs> panalo ka ng one access to Blueprint from ZFT. So congrats sa mga winners natin from our VIPs. And now, ang next na ipamimigay natin is for our live viewers. Sa mga nag-share, sa mga sumunod sa instructions. Right? No, uh, two winners ng 500 pesos. Diba? But before we do that, habang si set up pa nung tumutulong sa akin, again, if you want, again, ito yung schedule natin for the next seven days. The road to the summit, this one is free. Warm up, pati Kim, it's a probe, di ba? Sa buong Investor Summit, right? And if you guys want to see the whole lineup of the Investor Summit itself, ito na yun. Lumabas ba? Di ba lumabas? Ba't di lumabas? Wait lang. Ayun! Our full speaker lineup for the summit. Boss Z is there. He's right in the middle. And of course, we have a lot of other high-level finance executives, people who are knowledgeable in the cryptocurrency space, and the NFT space. Right? And syempre, um, yung global speakers natin. Right? A market wizard, Tom Basso. Momentum. Actually, I'm meeting with Mark Ritchie tomorrow. Um, the Momento Master and other great and high-level international speakers as well. So hopefully I can see you guys here. Of course, shout out to our major partners, XM, Limitless Investor, and all of our other partners who made this possible. Open Journal, ZFT, Kalo, Atram, Union Bank, AAA Equities, ETR, Caruso Insights, it was Sun Life, and the rest of the gang. Bloom X and everyone else. So maraming salamat sa mga partners natin. So game. We're gonna call on two winners ng 500 pesos. So guys, if you are the winner, dahil live viewer ka, i-share the stream, please, 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 if nandito ka pa, pamain na lang, tapos pa-message yung investor page. Minsan kasi mahirap i-PM eh. Kayo, minsan mahirap i-PM, kasi baka lang message, ang private yung profile. So please message us as well. So game, wag natin patagalin pa. So, 500. So first winner natin, congratulations to Elizabeth. Tariman. Tariman. So, Elizabeth, congratulations. At panalo ka ng 500 pesos dahil sinare mo yung stream. Uh, so, mga tatanong, ano ba yung blueprint nung, ano, nung, nung ZFT? So, it's their course um, for those who want to start up in the market, for those who want to learn technicals. And I guess, service level or a little deeper kung ano ba yung ZFT system. Right? So, that's all in blueprint. It's all online courses. So, you can, you can watch and learn at your own pace, at your own time. It, it was really made, I believe, for those na busy, for those na who want to balance the markets with their usual life. And aside from that, marami pa rin inclusions like Discord community, live q &A with the mentors, and trade walks things to So, yep. Ayun! Elizabeth, congrats! Panalo ka ng 500 pesos. Pa-message lang yung page namin. So, game, let's call on our final winner for tonight. Tapos, kita kits ulit tayo tomorrow night. Gaganito ulit tayo. Last winner for tonight. Congratulations. Panalo ka ng 5. Ayun. Law of Attraction. Panalo ka ng 500 pesos. Raven. Congratulations. So yan, may 500 pesos ka dahil shinare mo yung stream. So sana yung 500. If hindi ka pa sumali sa Investor Summit, pag-ticket mo na sa Investor Summit. So congratulations to all of our winners. To all of our VIPs, again, if you guys want to be part of this, you guys have to be um, VIPs ng Investor Summit. So before I end, since tapos na yung lahat, um, oops, may nag-message yun yun. Grabe, nag-message sa akin, grabe daw yung effect ng 500 QT. So guys, um, to everyone who is still here with me in the stream, uh, marami marami salamat for joining us. Hopefully, Marami kayo natutunan from Boss James as he shared his wisdom, his knowledge, his expertise pagdating sa NFTs again. He's part of ZFT, Trading Republic. Check them out, right? But lastly, I'd just like to show the event website again. It's in six days. I think five days. To September 28th na start. Six days. And we're just really excited, right? What we're gonna be discussing on this live webinar for one week is just the tip of the iceberg. 
It's just the road to the investor summit. Bago yung actual, di ba, ulam. Ano lang to, appetizer lang to. Appetizer lang. Wala pa yung ulam, di ba? So hopefully we can we can see you guys there. The event schedule is here. Starting on the 28th. Live Q&A start on the 29th. So yeah, really excited. All the speakers are excited as well. Especially global. Dito ako nagulat. Yung mga global speakers natin are actually really excited to be with us. Right? So yeah. And Michael Covell will be live, by the way. The talk, the Q&A is all going to be live. So yeah, again, I'm going to plug. Uh, if you want to become, you want to be part of our daily raffles for the next seven days or six days, five days, you have to be a VIP holder for the summit. And of course, there are many inclusions and a big discount versus the overall value. And of course, shout out to our major partners, XM, Limitless Investor, and to everyone else who helped us make ang pinakamalupit na Investor Summit possible. Okay. Woo. All right. So I guess that's gonna lah, open up the US market. So I think that's a great way to end uh, tonight. Uh, I hope I was clear naman now that I'm on my phone. Again, you know, shout out kay Boss Ralph. So, boss, kamusta, kamusta? So, yeah, thank you so much, guys. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow, same time, 8 p.m. I'm going to be with Joseph from Open Journal to discuss if you want to, to venture out to cryptocurrency. We're going to be um, doing a, a nice interview on that for about 30 to 45 minutes. And again, syempre, magpaparaffle tayo. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm Boss James. If, or if, any, is it, if, if Boss Z is still here, Boss, see, I know, see, Rafael, if you guys... If anyone from ZFT is still um is still here watching the stream, Shepra Marami Salamat sa inyo uh, for joining us today and for joining us in the summit. So again, Marami Salamat sa mga VIPs natin sa lahat ng anood. Hopefully, may atutunan kayo. If you want to learn more, Investa Summit is the way. I'll see you guys tomorrow sa, sa road natin to the summit. So peace out and kita kisahin mo So I will end the stream on my laptop. Okay. Good night, good night.